Hello humans, welcome back to another video on this channel. By the way, the dog in this photo was narrating. Okay, so this might be a very strange idea, but today I am going to be talking about how to make a worm tool. Before I tell you, I must first tell you what is a worm tool. Worm holes are not holes that worms are in, but they are similar to one. So a wormhole is actually a hole in the field of space or time. It is kind of how the earth seems flat but is actually round. The earth is kind of like a wormhole because it's round and it seems flat. You can dig a tunnel through the earth and end up on the other side, and you would have never been able to do that if the earth were flat. So wormholes are basically just a shortcut through space. So in order to make a wormhole, first get something like a black hole. You can make black holes easily. First, get several silicon particles. Carve them so that there are many poles resembling strings on each particle. Then, line them all up, take a needle or whatever, then pluck each string. Go back and forth very very fast. This creates lots of energy, and a very high pitched sound that no one can hear. One pole plucked on its own will make a sound with 385 megahertz. Many plucked together might become a gigahertz. Create at least 5,000 poles, pluck all of them back and forth 10 times a second, then you might get a black hole. Yes, so easy. Let's hope that this black hole won't kill you, because you have to make 3 more black holes. Line each black hole up, and put a very very large piece of metal on top of the center black hole. It will automatically stretch all the way so it wraps around them. Consider adding more until the metal is safe to stand on. There you go. You just created a flat environment that is actually shaped like a flat oval. The next step requires a lightsaber. Recently someone made a real life lightsaber so that is recommended. Use it to poke a hole through the thick metal, and make sure that the hole is between two black holes, and make sure that the space is big enough. Somehow find something more powerful than a black hole as a protection, then line a hallway with that so that now the space between the black holes has a distinct path. You wouldn't fall through the hallway that used to be a hole in the ground, but gravity will make you walk through. Hope you were wearing a G-Force suit because otherwise you would explode. Then, the trip shouldn't be less than 2 miles, and you will be at a different location of your flat world than before. It will be the same exact time it was before you made the trip, because black holes stop time. FYI, you don't have to use black holes, but they're the easiest option unless you want to survive. This pretty much simulates a very very simple wormhole through space and time. But all the other wormholes are very short. Maybe instead of using black holes, use a neutron star. It's a lot less dense, and you might be able to shape it. Make a sheet of neutron stars that is about 2 inches in height, and very very large. Then, poke a hole through the sheet, and you now have a working wormhole that's also very short. Yep, that's basically the very impractical tutorial. Have good luck making your wormhole, and I hope you will survive through it. In other words, don't make one. Now I will leave you to do what you want from here. Bye.